nothing started, he's living up to finish. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. Whew. I, oh, Lord. I this is one of those times where I'm going to say it. My guts are shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yes. Whew. I want to do something this morning. I believe it's fitting before we get into this message. I want to honor Ken and LeBron today. Ken as an assistant pastor and LeBron as a worship pastor here at Unlimited. They need to be recognized. They are loyal and faithful. Okay. Oh, All right. How many of you love your grits 
for sugar.
personal contact with to share things that happen in their life. Yes, that's a lot of them. Yeah. Should I get a microphone? Yes, Yeah. 
Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. How am I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this right here oh, is a handkerchief that my mother gave me 31 years ago. My mother was a praying woman, and she prayed me out of hell and into life. <laughs> and she, I, I probably kept her up more nights than I should have. And uh, but this is this is a handkerchief, and women used to give other women handkerchiefs back in the 40s, 50s, and maybe even the 60s. And so, in the scripture, we find in Acts chapter 19, verses 12, so that even handkerchiefs or face towels or aprons that touched his skin were brought. They're referencing Paul here that touched his skin, um, brought to the sick, and their diseases left them, and evil spirits came out of them. That's a little spooky sometimes. When you start bringing in anointing oils and handkerchiefs and stuff like that. But there's no power in and of themselves. They are a, a point of contact. They are a, a, a conduit or, or a point that can be used, right? Yes. Because see what happens now, because we're born again believers, he said, and you shall lay hands on the sick. Yes. Right? Yes. Or in the case of Jesus and Jairus' daughter, he said, no, send the word. He said, I understand authority, so send the word and my little girl will be healed. Yes. Right? right? Let me tell you another spooky story that happened to Elisha. You may, you may know this one. Elisha, not Elijah, but Elisha had already passed and he was in the tomb. Mm -hmm. and, and it was sealed. Now they didn't put him down in the ground. They put him in these tombs or these caverns. The Israelites came up on a band of robbers and thieves who had killed a man. And they put this man in the tomb of Elisha. And all of a sudden, by accident, he, the dead man touched Elisha and the dead man stood up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's spooky. Come on. Say it again. <laughs> that's, spooky. Yeah. that's spooky, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's spooky. What about the coin in the fish's mouth when they had to pay taxes? That's just flat out weird. Right. You're telling me to go fish and y'all will be able to pay my tax from the coin. That's just weird. Right. That's just weird. Okay, what about Elijah? When the woman who was promised a son finally had a son and the son dies... And the woman says to her husband, I need you to get me a servant and a, and a donkey because I have to get the heck out of here and get to the man of God. And I've got to get to the man of God because he's got to come. So she gets there, blah, 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 and she's talking to him, and Elijah comes. You want to hear, this is spooky now. This is just absolutely crazy and beautiful at the same time. The child is laid out dead flat on the bed, and he climbs on top of him, hand on hand, mouth on mouth, but just flat out on top of the boy. How creepy is that? <laughs> but God. But, but God. In the weirdness, in the foolishness that we want to call that ain't God. Woo, be careful what you don't call ain't God. Yes, yes, yes. Because I'm going to tell you, you can call it ain't God, but when the dead start getting up. Yes. When the dead start getting up. Yes. When the dead start getting up. Yes. When bodies start getting healed. Let me tell you who the healer is. It is Jehovah Rapha. The Lord, our healer. Yes. That's his name. Amen. These prayer cloths were often referred to and referenced here by this. 
Paul wore something very similar to this. A lot of times they actually went like this and had a hole in it and went over. Okay? And then they wore these and it says, now how much faith, if Paul didn't believe that God was telling him to do this, they would have never cut pieces of this mm -hmm. and of his work apron that he had on to pass out to people if he were not directed by the Lord to do so. And what we need to understand, that there is no power, but there's beautiful symbolism in it. Yeah. There's beautiful, what's that, right? There's, there's faith. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes people need something tangible right. to be right. able to connect with, yes. to be able to see, because in a situation when it's challenging, there, sometimes there's a point of contact. <coughs> How, I will say this. How many of you know putting a card in the mail to somebody that you pray for is often a point of contact yes. that you'll raise them from the dead? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Amen. Can we just get practical? Amen. Amen. Can we just get real here? Amen. That sometimes it's, hey, yes. I was wondering if I could take you out for lunch. Mm -hmm. Hey, how you doing, Pastor? I'll tell you this week, one day this week, a couple of days ago, I, I was sharing this with Natalie. She doesn't like it when I tell God things. No, like when I try to tell God what to do. <laughs> Let me explain. I was having a moment. I was having a, an emotional breakdown. I was. I'm just going to tell you. If y'all think I'm above having depression and getting upset, and losing it, y'all better send me somewhere else. I'm just as real as you are. Okay? And so I was losing it, and I did this. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I, I, nope. Not doing this. Nope. I'm not giving into these feelings. I'm not giving into these emotions. No. Nope. And all of a sudden, I said, I can't. And the Lord says, why are you trying to white knuckle it? Mm -hmm. The Lord says, why are you trying to be strong when I am strong? Yes. I feel like I got my butt spanked and I got hugged at the same time. <laughs> Did y'all know what I'm talking about? Why, why was I trying to be strong? Because I'm a pastor? Because I have moments of weakness? He said, it's okay. I got you. Just thought I'd share something personal. <coughs> but first you told him. Yeah, I told him. <laughs> Natalie said, you better quit telling God. You know, and then, and, 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 you know, I, I did. I had to just literally give in. And, and, and yes, thank you, Lord. And you reminded me of this. Once I yielded and said, Father, I thank you. In these emotions right now. I, I didn't thank him for them. I said, I thank you in this place. I said, I feel broken. I feel weak. I don't feel strong. And that's when in your weakness I'm strong. I don't have to have it all together. Can I just give you a word of freedom today? You don't have to have it all together. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. So these pieces here. How many of you remember the story of the woman with the issue of blood? Yes. And it said when this woman who was suffering and hemorrhaging, hemorrhaging for 12 years came upon Jesus and touched the fringe. Touched the fringe of his garment. Mm -hmm. Touch the bottom portion of his robe, a point of contact. A point of contact. Touched it and said, if I can only touch that hem, that fringe, if I can only touch his talit, if I can only touch the tizits, it's what it's called, tizits. If I can only touch this, if I can, I can be well, 
And Jesus turning to her said, take courage, your faith has made you well. And Liz, I finally saw something. I've read the scripture for years. And I thought, but, and I said, but God, what about people who don't have faith in the moment? And I saw something. And I saw Jesus look at her. And he said, your faith. Who is the author and finisher of our faith? Yes. And he yes. said, your faith, me girl, faith. Yes. Your faith standing right here in front of you. Yes. Your faith when you don't yes. have any faith. Your yes. faith is making you well. Yes. Your faith is pulling you out of the yes. pit. Me, oh, Jesus. Yes. Your faith is delivering you from yes. the worst uh, that's yes. going on around you that's chaotic. Yes, amen, amen. He is faith. Because, honey, I'm telling you, sometimes I don't have faith. I don't feel like I have faith. Now, the scripture says I have faith like a grain of mustard seed. Well, that's one of the biggest trees that ever grows out of the smallest seed. Y'all look it up. I'm not telling you stories. Look it up. She said, if I can touch this. There's another reference. And when they had crossed over the shore of Gennesaret, when men of that place recognized him, they sent word to the surrounding district and they brought to him that all were sick and they begged them to let them merely touch the fringe the fringe mm -hmm. the talit the tizit to touch this of his robe and they were perfectly restored do you have to have a prayer cloth to pray for people? No. No, you don't. Do you have to have your Bible in front of you to minister what God is saying? No, you don't. It's good to know the Word. Yes. It's good to know the Word because a lot of times, Holy Spirit, when we know the Word, it says He'll bring all things to remembrance. In other words, when it gets in you, the Word comes back up out of you. And sometimes it's not even scripture, honey. When we're led by the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit can cause us to say two words and people will come alive. Yes. 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 And they'll go, how did you know? How did you know I needed that in that moment? How did you know? So we see that. A little spooky, a little crazy. They thought Jesus was crazy, didn't they? They thought he was doing weird stuff. The, the, lit, the loaves and the fishes. They thought he was spooky. They were looking for a messiah. They were looking for a ruler. And what did he do? Was he came as a baby. Well, that's just weird. Why did he come as a baby? We want a ruler. We want a king. So they had an expectation and an expectation. Now, I'm going to hit this. Y'all ready? Sometimes our expectation is in our expectation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay, That's true. I'll say yes. again. Sometimes our expectation in, is in our expectation rather than the one. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right. Who answers? Amen. Did that yes. So what, why are we expecting? See, we have an expectation because expectation comes from what I think it ought to look like. So God, if you ain't moving like I want you to look, then you are not fulfilling my expectation. Oh. So why can't we just get to the place where we trust God? Period. Yes. Yes. Dot, dot, dot. Yes. So he's challenging us today. What is your expectation in, or who is your expectation in? Because people are going to slap fail you. Yes, yes, that's the truth. Because your expectation is in them to fulfill you and yes. to meet your need. Yes, yes, yes. When we have our expectation in the source, who yes. is God, yes. then God can line everything up and use yes. people. Yes, yes, yes. yes. The anointing is spooky. Anointing oil is spooky. Y'all see me use it up here, don't you? 
Being slain in the spirit is spooky. Yeah. Speaking in tongues, it gets a little spooky. Mm -hmm. You know, me and my wife, we can totally disagree on this lovingly, you know, and, and she doesn't tell me, man, that's just crazy. You're going to hell for believing in that. And I don't tell her, now that you're crazy, you both going to hell because you don't believe in it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because we, at Unlimited, we can agree and love each other in our disagreement, and we can support each other where we are because we allow Holy Spirit to do the work and not do the work. So next week, you get a beautiful, spectacular message from Ken on speaking in tongues and prayer language. Yeah. And after that, you get a beautiful, spooky, spectacular message from Brad about being slain in the spirit yes. and the anointing of oil. Yes. Yes. How about that? Yes. <clears throat> Any questions about this? Can you see the, that it's just a point of contact that was used? It was a point of contact. Can we get to the bottom line? This is what I, I asked the Lord. I said, Lord, what does all this mean? Why did you want us to talk about prayer cloth, aprons, handkerchiefs? Which that 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 handkerchief, and, and you can see some of the history here of the, the translations of the Hebrew and of the Greek. And that actually, I thought, how creepy is that? They're taking a sweat cloth. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it, it was to wipe the sweat yeah. off of his face. Honey, I'm going to tell you, I don't want nobody's sweat <laughs> touching me. <laughs> you know, oh, your face sweats on my body. Go ahead. Yeah. Come on. Faith is required, but faith without works is dead. Yes. The woman with the issue of blood, she believed, but she also was determined that I'm going to have to reach out and touch. It wasn't just that I'm going to believe. Right. But I'm going to put action to that faith. Exactly. And I'm going to reach out and do something. Exactly. Thank you. And that's yes. where God works. That's, Come on. That's where God works. That's yes. where God works. Mm -hmm. Love is an action. Yes. That's exactly yes. right. I love this. Anybody else? Any questions? Well, in, that, in that story, weren't there little people crowded all around Jesus? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yes. Crowded all around. They were all touching him. She that's right. They were all touching right. his robe. They were all touching his friend. She, yes. down she had the faith. Yes. She, yeah. 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 she was seeking the healing and yeah. knew who had it. Yes. When the, other, when the other one's out, but hmm? when the other one's out, when did everybody else out? We see that story from that place for a reason. All the other ones had expectations mm -hmm. of what they had been told was what the Messiah was going to be. She didn't care what they said. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I, Beyond. I, Yes, I turned this is Kenneth's mic. Brad, I need you to say that again and because somebody here watching this needs it too. Um, the lady went beyond the religious expectations of those standing around Jesus and grabbed home and said, I believe without expectation. I believe with faith. And I'm going to move in my faith and love towards you. Towards you. Wow. Yes. That's right. Yes. And what did he say? Your faith, your faith has made you whole. Has made you whole. Yeah. I, I, I had a visual of Jesus saying, me has made you whole. Your faith. How many of you know the story of the, the, the people, the four guys who took the man on the mat up on the roof, yes. yes. on the roof of the house? Yes. And it said, and seeing their faith. Yes. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Whoa. Does that almost sound like we're standing in the gap for somebody? Yes. Yes. Amen. You mean we can? Okay. Which means when I can't have the faith for myself, my yeah. brother can come up beside me and say, I've got faith for you. Yes. yes. I can be there. I can be the one that holds you up. You can yes. be the conduit or the touch point? Yes. Good yes. God. Yes. <laughs> the point of contact? Are you seeing what God is saying this morning? Yes. yes. I want to close with this. Yes, Jesus. I believe it. And we didn't even get through all that, but this is good. This is where the Lord wanted to go. I said, Lord, what are you saying? What are you saying? 
And I heard the Lord say this yesterday. Be open and aware and awaken to how I want to work and reveal myself in any given moment or situation. Yes. Because unfortunately, we get caught up in the familiar. Yes. Yes. God may not tell me to anoint them with oil. God may tell me to do something or operate differently in that moment. We, He is awakening us and stirring us to operate and function and be as He wills in any given moment and situation. You know why? Because we are now the touch point. We are now the conduit, the regent. As Brad, I love the terms that he uses. Vessels. Everybody say yeah, vessels. Yeah, vessels. Each one of you in here are vessels. Each one of you in here are vessels. Don't. Some. Scott, I'm telling you how to run on. 